today. We've been joined by Tamara Mills, currently at Essex and England Lions. Welcome, T. Thanks for joining us today. Much appreciated. Um, today, T's going to be talking to us about bowling at pace and how he prepares to bowl at pace. So, T, how do you prepare prior to a game to bowl at pace? Uh, well, obviously, we have a team warm up to start off with where we go through a different kind of heart rates and flexibility stuff just to get our body going. And then, once you know what we're doing, we split off into backslam bowlers, backslam going and have their hits. And then, us bowlers will do various different things using men's symbols, uh, elastic band work, and then building up to them, having a bowl, and then making sure we're in a good place to start the game. Sounds good. Would you mind showing us a few of those? Okay, so we're going to have a look at some of these warm-up drills that T now does. So T's now going to show us some of the exercises he does prior to bowling in the game and how he prepares for it. Yeah, we use various different medicine balls, different sizes, and they're weighted balls. It's to, to switch your core on and uh, to make sure your, your body is reacting quickly and you know, moving to ready to bowl fast. So there's lots of important different drills that you need to do. Probably do maybe three different drills, maybe six to eight times each with uh, using medicine balls. Okay, would you mind if I just step out and then let you demonstrate? That's all right. So you do some side to side, so to engage your so when you're bowling you're gonna be a lot of side movement going on, so big slams. Big slams to the side. Same overhead, so you come. So I'm a left left arm bowler, so I replicate my bowling action, so my right foot will be forward. So come throw it up my head. Catch it. Same to the side also again to make sure your side switched on so you can back to maximize your bowling speed. Also do different exercises with these elastic bands for your shoulders to make sure you're nice and loose so you don't want to get any injuries so that you're ready to go straight away. So do things such as rows. Flies and overheads. All different different areas to work around your shoulders and your arms to make sure that when you're bowling, you're nice and finally before start to bowl properly, I do some wrist drills because obviously, especially when you're bowling with a new ball, you want to make it swing. So me being a left left-handed bowler, I want to be swinging it back into the right-hander or away to the left-handed batsman. So I'll have my seam slanted in that direction. So before I bowl, I'll do some wrist drills to try and just make sure I get that feel of the ball coming out nicely beforehand before I bowl. So then hopefully, when I start to bowl, then I get that shape straight away. So, now that you're physically warmed up and ready for the game, you've had your little practice for a specific bowling practice as well. What do you do after that, really, prior to the game? Yeah, as a team, we sit down and we kind of identify who we're playing against, uh, whether we've played against them before, kind of historically, why, how we got them out before, if we, if we identify the weakness that a batter might have. And then, obviously, plan A will always be when a bowl that's sort of off stuff, if you want more of them not, to build pressure, stop them, stop them scoring. If, if you're bowling that's sort of off stuff, you've got a chance to get them out. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to identify maybe strength and weaknesses of different batsmen. Yeah. But if not, we'll always go, I'll always plan around and just try and go at the top of the off as many times as we can. Do you sometimes find that you have like set tactics towards each batsman to try and set them up with something they're not going to realise? Sometimes again, depending on the situation of the game, as I said, we'll always, you know, you, you go back to your, your plan A which you want to talk about. If that's not working then in certain situations you might have to you know try and try and short. On one side of the wicket, you, you know, you've got to be proactive and, and you've got to try and maybe outfit the batsman. And, you know, you've, got be, you've got to be able to try and try different things. Ah, good. Sounds good. So, I mean, once you've gone through that process, it's a case of now having a little trundle just turning the arm over, looking to keep your stop delivery later. Yeah, go out in the middle, uh, bowling behind your side, you'll take a mitt, and um, bowls will go through, from just starting with quite uh, a short run up and just loosening off, and then making sure you get a couple of your long run up, and then they're ready to go to the game. Ah, good stuff. Uh, I've 
what's on bold previous delivery, I'll, I'll assess how that's gone, what's worked well, whether that was uh, the right thing for me to do in that ball. I'll then forget about that, that previous ball and move on to the next ball as I'm walking back to my mark. I'll decide what I want to bowl next. I'll get to the end of my mark, I'll turn. I'll stand still, I'll face up to the batsman. I'll be clear of my mind, and then I'll begin to run in the ball. Okay, so on a final note, any um, words of advice for young aspiring baseballers? Um, yeah, obviously it's a hard thing to do, so keep patient, you know, you're not, you're not going to get it right every time. I, I certainly didn't and I, I still don't now, so definitely just be patient. Just keep things as simple as possible, don't try and overcomplicate things and just enjoy it. Yeah, just run in, focus on your specific things that you, you identify that you need to work on and yeah, don't overcomplicate. Fantastic. Well, I personally would like to say thank you for your time today. It's been much appreciated. Thanks, Tate. Um, I've been Carl Banks from KJH Cricket. Um, you can visit our website for more videos, www.kjhcricket.com, or you can visit our YouTube site, KJH Cricket 2011, to see more videos. Thank you very much. KJH Cricket.